we introduce the main components of digital sextant. First, horizon glass is used to view the horizon and celestial shapes. Second, the index mirror reflects the shape of the celestial body. Third, horizon shade glasses and index shade glasses protect the observer's eyes by adjusting the intensity of light when observing celestial elevation angles. The digital unit is a core component and it is built in electronics. Observe the horizon and celestial bodies through a cylindrical telescope. Through the arc, the elevation angle of the celestial body can be measured from minus 5 to 130 degrees. The release lever makes the index arm move to assist observation. Micrometer drum is used for precise elevation angle measurement. Next, we introduce the functions for the digital part. There are four buttons on the left. From the bottom, there are power button, selection button, and movement buttons to move the cursor up and down. At the top of the digital part, there is a LED lamp and a charging port. The LED lamp is turned off by default, and it lights red when charging, and green when charging is complete. When press the power button for about 3 seconds, the initial screen turns on. The time at the bottom should be set to Greenwich Mean Time, as the current time. On the upper right corner, the operating mode and battery status are displayed. The remaining battery capacity is 25% in one column and 100% in four columns. There are two types of mode settings. The simple mode is used for urgent position calculation, and since temperature, air pressure, and measurement altitude are fixed, position errors may occur. The normal mode is generally used for sighting. It calculates the position by observing the sun and 67 celestial bodies, and environmental information should be input when observing. When place the cursor on the setting button and press the select button, four functions are displayed. First, LCD brightness to control the brightness of the screen. Second, change date and time. Third, about to know various information. Fourth, back to move to the initial screen. Before sighting, place the cursor on accuracy calibration and press the select button. This process should be done once every one to two weeks. If calibration has not been performed for two weeks, the confirmation window will appear. Place the cursor on the sighting and press the select button. When the first blank is selected, a statement as above is shown. First, when the micrometer drum and arc scale are set to O and set to O O O degree O O O on the screen, observation is possible. Observe the sun or celestial body with a telescope. First, adjust the intensity of the light using horizon and index shade glazes. Next, move the horizon in the center of the left side of the horizon glass while looking at the telescope, then move index arm with release lever and place the celestial body to be observed on the right side of horizon glass. Adjust micrometer drum so that the bottom of the celestial body to be observed can touch the horizon. After sighting, input the current temperature, air pressure, and altitude, and click the next button. Move the cursor and select the celestial body to complete measurement. There are five types of celestial bodies, and select which celestial body observed. After a certain period of time, move the cursor to the second blank. Observe in the same way as the first. After measuring twice, select Calculate Position and input the course and speed. If the two time measurements were made while the vessel is stationary, input O and select Next. Then, check the values of latitude and longitude measured. When measuring three times, accuracy can be improved and the process is the same. 
After sighting, select Calculate Position and input the course and speed. Then, select Next and check the values of latitude and longitude measured. To delete all data, select Clear All Data and click OK on the confirmation window. To delete some of data, place the cursor in the record you want to delete and press the Select button. Then, place the cursor on Delete and press the OK button on the confirmation window. To ray measure, place the cursor on ray site and press the select button 